Uh, this is Rodney Fowler again. Uh, I'm going to give a little short history of the Fowler family from however long I've tracked them from the first ones that came to America from England. You know, I like to read a lot of it because I can't remember it all, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Uh, the Fowler clan. In 1621, the HMS Abigail came from England to Virginia. And the Abigail was the first of our family line. There were other, two other ships, the uh, Mayflower and the uh, Speedwell. Uh, the first of our line was on that ship, 30-year-old uh, William Fowler and his wife, Mary, Margaret Sarah Fowler. William and Margaret had two sons, Philip, born around 1615, and William Jr., born around 1641. I think he probably was a little bit older than that. I think he was born a little sooner than that. But anyway, William Jr. married a woman named Anne and had four sons. One of them was named William the Third. William the Third was born about 1661 and married twice. His first wife was named Mary and his second wife was named Anne. Mary's sons were Daniel Fowler, Darcy Fowler, and John Fowler. Um, Anne had a son named William the Fourth and was born about 1720. His wife's name was Mary, no other information about her. This William Fowler had a son named William O. Fowler. Uh, his wife's name was Mary also. There's a lot of Marys in our family. Don't have a lot of information about her death or birth or anything, but uh, do have her name. Uh, William O. had a son named James Henry Fowler. That's my third great grandpa. He married a woman named Mary Duty. Uh, D-O-T-T-Y. I don't know much about her either. There's no information that we can find on her. Um, James had a son named William Henry. The story I told earlier about the uh, murder, Sunday morning murder. That's William Henry, our second great-grandpa. Uh, in the meantime, there was a Laster family. Hiram Laster came over from Scotland and landed in North Carolina about mid-1700s or so when he met it and married a Indian woman named Nancy Rainwater. Herman and Nancy had several children. One of them's name was Jesse Crawford Grant. That was be our third great grandpa. Uh, he married a one an Indian woman named Mary Stanley Matthews. We don't know how much Indian, but she was probably at least three quarters. Most of these are Cherokees. There's a few others, but most of them are Cherokees. Jesse and Mary Matthews had a daughter named Mary Jane Laster, who is William Henry's wife, second wife actually. It's our great-great-grandmother. Uh, William Henry was born in McNary County, Tennessee. His first wife was named Nancy C. Payne. They were married on December 27, 1846. They had three children. Mary, born in 1847. William, or Bill, born in 1852. And Robert, or Bob, born in 1858. Uh, this Fowler family, William and Nancy, and their chief, three children moved to the Indian Territory in Oklahoma sometime after uh, Bob was born. Uh, somewhere along the white line, Nancy disappeared. There's no other record ever that we can find. She either died of childbirth or left him or who knows. They, there's just no other records that we can find. Uh, next time William Henry shows up and, and his kid shows up, he's in Independence, Arkansas in uh, 1860. He married Mary Jane Laster, our great-great-grandmother. Great Great-great-grandmother. The daughter of Hiram and, I mean, the granddaughter of Hiram and Nancy Rainwater Lester, and the daughter of Jesse and Mary Stanley Lester. Uh, Grandma Mary Jane, she helped raise uh, we, William Henry's two older sons, Bill and Bob. The other Mary, his other daughter, they, she disappeared somewhere along the line. I think she got married, but I haven't really tracked that down yet. Uh, William Henry was married when Mary Jane was, had, was married and had seven children, one of which was named Warren Tiller Fowler, who had a twin brother named William Tyler Fowler. A lot of Williams and Marys. And uh, William Tyler died soon after birth. Warren Tiller is our great-grandpa. 
he married a Choctaw woman named Mar Martha Isabel Williams. Uh, her daddy's, I've got pictures of a lot of these people too. They're, uh, you can tell that they're Indian and Scottish and all kinds of stuff. It's, you can just look at them and tell. But uh, her daddy was a preacher named John R. Williams. John's our great-great-grandfather on her side. Martha Isabel is our great-grandmother. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Warren Tiller and Martha had, they called her Grandma Bell, had 11 kids. Only three daughters and one son made it to adulthood. The rest of them died by, by their teens or younger. Uh, their son's name that made it grown was Willie Oscar Fowler. That's my, great, my, my grandpa right there. And uh, the rest of them, he had a twin brother also, by the way. He died shortly after birth. Uh, Martha Isabel died, I know the year, I just, don't have, I just don't have it at hand right now. And Warren Tiller married another woman named Tabitha. I've got her last name, but I can't remember it right offhand either. That'll be for later stories, I guess. Uh, they had two daughters and a son. The son's name was Leonard. He was a hobo train hopper. Uh, kind of a side note. When I was about five or six years old, he came to my house. He was walking and walked. I seen him walking up the driveway and he had a thing of ice cream in his hand. Come up there and give me, my, give me ice cream. It was two miles from the store. So either he caught a ride or walked two miles carrying that old ice cream. Anyway, he's sitting there and he, I, had, I don't even know what he's doing with his pocket knife, but he had it out and he stabbed it in his leg, scared me to death. He was quivering in there and everything. I was waiting on blood. <laughs> he had a wooden leg. I didn't know it at the time. Last time he was seen, uh, that we, can, that we know of, Uncle Herschel, my daddy's oldest brother, seen him hopping a train in Maysville, Oklahoma. Uh, about 1969, they just waved at each other because he was running to catch that train. Old one leg a guy running to catch a train, but that's all he ever done, I guess, all about all his life. But uh, anyway, that's just part of the story, I guess. Uh, my grandpa here, he was born in 1899. He married Edith Jane Grant. Her daddy was Jefferson Lee Grant, and he married. He was married before and had two or three kids, and that woman died. Then Jefferson Lee, he married Rosalie Scribner. She's supposed to have chalk, uh, Chickasaw. We're trying to verify that now. Uh, it's not not proven, but it's not disproven yet. We've got some information showing that she might be at least half chalk, uh, Chickasaw. Uh, Grandpa Grant and Grandma Rosie had several children. Most of theirs died very young. No doctors, midwives. It's just a bad time to have kids, I guess. They lost a lot of kids back then. Um, one of the children was Edith Jane Grant, and that's our grandma right here. And uh, she was born in, in uh, 1905. Uh, her and Grandpa were married on December of 1919, and she was 15 years old and lied about her age, so they'd get married saying she was 17 or 18. Edith and Willie Oscar had 12 children, nine boys and three girls. The third boy died a few months after he was born. His name was Oscar Lee Fowler. Uh, from the left, these are actually right here. This is the 11 children that survived in Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, that'll be a later story, probably the next one. Uh, more to tell and I'll talk about that generation and the uh, their kids which is my generation uh, but for now I'm just going to finish this up and uh, uh, I think I've said enough for tonight today but anyway they uh, granny had granny and Willie had nine boys and three girls and one died his name was Oscar Lee Fowler my cousin Jimmy Oscar, he was named after him. I was named after Grandpa Willie. My middle name is Rodney, is William. And of those surviving 11 kids, they, Granny had about 50 grandkids either adopted or born into the family. And uh, she claimed about, I don't know, 67, 68 great grandkids. And there's a whole lot more of them than that now, but, uh, <laughs> and they're still having babies. Fowlers are real prolific at having kids. Anyway, the next uh, story I'm going to be coming up with will be uh, about the generation above us, my, my father's generation. And like I said, I showed you that picture a while ago. That's the rest of them. That's all of them right there. 
And uh, so I'll be seeing you next time. We'll do this again later. And I appreciate it.